Hey Aries, welcome to your April 2021 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wild. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general energies for April 2021. <laughs> So Aries, before we get into your reading, I just want to invite you to your birthday celebration live here on YouTube. It is on Saturday, April 10th. This is different from day the day that I have mentioned previously, so just make a note of that. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can set the little reminder, the pop-up reminder, okay? So that'll be in the description for you. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. It's all about giving you the intuitive information you need to help you manifest your wildest dreams. So this month I am offering an extended reading for this general reading. I will leave the link in the description so that if that interests you, you can definitely check that out. For those of you who got the extended readings last month, thank you so, so much. Your support means so much to me and Ariel, and it really helps me because it helps me uh, buy new decks. You're going to see I'm going to use two new decks this month, debuting on the channel, and you know, it helps me buy cat trees, treats for this person over here. So she really likes that. So thank you so much. So these general readings, I just like to read whatever comes up in the energies, okay? Uh, your money, career, and biz readings for the month of April have already been done and dusted and uploaded. I will leave a link to that in the description for you as well so you can check it out. All right, Aries, let's get into your reading. I'm going to start off with a quote for you. These are quote cards and we're going to pull a quote that has a question on it that may be something for you to consider as your energetic theme and energetic focus for your month ahead. We'll, we'll of course pull uh, from the bold and bodacious which you see is sitting right over there and we'll get more energies. I have another oracle deck brand new for you guys so lots of good stuff. All right let's pull a quote for Aries. Yeah this one's like sticking out. Let's see what we have for you Aries. Whenever I go on a ride, I'm always thinking of what's wrong with the thing and how it can be improved. Walt Disney. What do you consider your field of expertise, Aries? Okay, so there's something for you to think about this month. Your field of expertise. How can you improve something? How can you bring more imagination to it? Walt Disney, all right? Let's pull a, let's pull a quick, bold, and bodacious and see what you need to know about that. Aries, of course, you are the sign of the inventor, of the experimenter, of the inventive genius. So let's see. What do you consider your field of expertise? What is your energy? Ace of coins, baby. All right, look at this, Aries. This is an important message for you this month. Of course, we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is about planting some sort of big seed, starting uh, a new garden of prosperity, so to speak. And with this energy, what it is suggesting to me is that it's time for you to perhaps branch out into something new. Um, it could even be, like I said, some sort of new invention. This could also be, though, an entirely new career path for you, career trajectory. Um, area of expertise, it's, it's not just area of expertise I'm feeling, it's like, whatever you are naturally good at you know skill sets are transferable you know like for example if you're a fantastic writer of course yes you could write novels sure but maybe you also decide to start a blog you start you want to start a writing business where you write for other people maybe you decide to become a ghost writer i mean there's other ways you can parlay those skills that's my point so look at your area of expertise, see what is new that you can come up with some sort of new money making idea based on your greatness. <laughs> okay, so I mean, this is fantastic. And you know, it's interesting Walt Disney showing up here too. Again, it's about the best, the best ideas come from our inspired imagination. You know, it's not when we're sitting there like trying to come up with an idea. Um, it really is about tuning into that subconscious level and allowing something to rise up from, <laughs> from, from the stream of consciousness. That's where the gold is, baby, in your stream of consciousness. So I think you could find a really golden idea, Aries, this month. All right. So that is freaking gorgeous. All right. 
let's dive into the next portion of your reading. I'm going to pull four cards from Bold and Bodacious. Um, I'm going to look at these as basically, um, you know, one card for the first week of the month, the next one for the second week, the next for the third, the next for the fourth. However, you may find that this energy plays out the entire month. Um, let's just, you know, let's see what we have here. Ariel's gone to take a siesta, I think. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have for you. Very nice energies. Very nice. All right. What do we have? We got the Eight of Wands. Excellent. So there is this sense of excitement, of being involved in a lot of different ideas and projects. Um, let's clarify this with my other tarot deck. Let's clarify with this deck and see what we need to know about that Eight of Wands. But that is a lot of things in motion, a lot of balls in the air, so to speak. Um, but, you know, you're an Aries. You like that. You like having a lot of things on the go, a lot of projects on the go. So inspired momentum. That's what I'm feeling for you guys. Inspired momentum, whatever the Eight of Wands. It's a lot of options. It's a lot of different things happening. All right. What do we have? We have the Two of Swords. Okay. So there is something, and of course, since we're talking about the first week of the month, this may be by the end of the first week, since it's the eight, that you may need to make a decision, Aries, this two of swords, in terms of, you know, choosing one of these or two of these options that you have going on here with the eight of wands. Um, I think you'll know by the end of the first week, what idea, what action, what situation is going to stick for you, you know, how, that has the staying power. That's going to amount to something because the thing with the eight of wands is they're all heading toward a target, but it's like, which ones are going to be the ones that hit the target, right? All right. What's uh, What else do we have on the bottom here? Mm, the eight of cups. Isn't this interesting? So two of swords making a decision. Now the eight of cups with the eight of wands. So emotionally, you are going to be leaving some options behind. There will be a zeroing in, I feel, of your focus with all of these possibilities. Now, I say this all the time. Apply the energy to your life. These possibilities can, of course, be in the business world. They could be romantic. Um, they could be different houses you're looking to buy. I mean, whatever the eight of wands, these balls you have up in the air right now, these different possibilities. So it is going to be about making an emotional decision there, you know, to leave something behind. Um, when the, when the wand hits the, when the right wand hits, say that five times fast, when the right wand hits, it will cause you to move in an inspired new direction emotionally. All right. So that's very good. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's go into the second week. So by the end of the first week, you're heading in a new emotional direction. It's good. It's good. The two eights. It's like you're right on target, right on time is what I'm feeling with that energy. All right, what else we got here? Second week. Ah, we got the tower. Hello. Okay, so. All right, so this ties in probably with that inspired new moon energy that's happening on April 11th or the 12th, depending on where you are <laughs> in the universe. This is interesting, too, because it's also the end, the 16, right? It's toward the end. Well, it's right going into the third week, but it's at the end of the second week, right? The number 16. So the, so the 16th of the month may be important for you, um, but there is the sense here of, I'm going to take these two out. There is the sense that there is a surprise on its way to you in the second week. You can make a surprising decision as well, based on the energy we have for the first week. You could be making a very surprising decision. Um, but let's see. Let's clarify. I took those other two cards out. All right, let's see what we have. Very interesting. Very interesting, Eddie's. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. The tower. What do we got with this tower? Another two. Isn't this fascinating? So two of pentacles. Again, we have two options. We have two things we're juggling. We're evaluating. But twos, remember, twos are about stasis. There's nothing happening. It's just you're in a you're in a holding pattern. And we have the King of Cups. All right, interesting. So again, emotional energy coming out. We had the Eight of Cups. Now we have a King of Cups. You could, of course, be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. There could be some sort of. I mean, this could go either way. You know, the Tower is, is very unpredictable, as we know. It's not always bad, but it can go either way. 
there can be some sort of um, point of no return, emotional situation with one of those signs or in terms of some sort of money choice since the two of pentacles is showing up here um and there can be some there's get there can be really some strong emotions happening the second week i mean with the king of cups and this tower um let me pull one more but this is this is very interesting let's see what else is on the top here ah the sun okay good so even though there may be something that's a little dramatica and it's possible that this King of Cups energy may be trying to kind of get its own way. That's possible. I am, I am feeling a little bit of a butting of heads a tiny bit here, Aries. Your head and this person's head. Okay, like a little bit of that. Um, because, or it's just a really spirited discussion of weighing these two options. Now that you've gotten them down a little further. Based, We started with eight, now we're down to two. Um... But everything will be okay. Look, the sun card is here. So even though there might be a very spirited discussion, um, there will be the right choice. There will be a choice based in um, love and goodwill and healing the sun. I mean, in you know, you'll you'll find the way to navigate this situation. Of course, there can also be some sort of Leo energy involved here. But the sun is about fresh starts, a new life, a new perspective. So again. I think you and the King of Cups energy, you're on the same page, but you're just coming at it from two different perspectives, but you're going to find the common ground if that applies to you. For others of you, it's more of just getting emotionally straight in your heart and your heart may really surprise you in that second week because some people don't have a partner. That's fine. But your heart may be really surprising you, Aries, in terms of how you finally do make that decision emotionally all right let's see what else we have of course that could be a family member too. apply the energy to your life all right let's third week what do we got aries third week third week Th oh ace of wands baby all right the ace of wands so the yes energy the cosmic yes thumbs up i made my choice i made a decision i'm starting something new all right let's see what we have you have two aces you have that ace of pentacles now you have the ace of wands all right third week of april wow beautiful as we go ahead start heading into taurus season all right we have now we have a queen of cups interesting so Again, some sort of fresh initiative based on emotional congruency, emotional alignment. Since we had the, the king, now we have the queen. So it is about being fully aligned emotionally, that you're not torn this way and that way. Um, and that's what I'm saying. If you're with a partner, even if this energy doesn't represent you or the partner, it doesn't matter. The fact that both of these energies are coming out, if you have a partner, like I said, you both are going to get on the same page eventually. And we see that with this energy coming out and then this. So, you know, it'll be okay if there's something going on with that. All right, what's on the bottom? Uh -huh, we have the chariot. So this is gorgeous. So because you're emotionally clear, because you have emotional clarity, or because you and your partner are on the now finally on the same page, you're going to be able to move forward. Look at this chariot with this ace of wands. You're going to be making a big, bold declaration, decision, move in a new direction. This could also tie in with the energy that we looked at with this, with our first card here. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful, Aries. This is freaking fantastic. All right. Wow excellent 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 all right let's see let's see what we have for the last week of april which has the full moon in scorpio all right let's see which is on the 26th of april all right well oh my god that flew out look what we have here we have the two of wands now so a decision was made the previous week and now we have all right now what do i do look at another number two You've had three number twos come out. So it's a little this month. The energy's great. I mean, there's nothing negative here. 
this is all like fabulous but with the twos it is kind of like a little bit of stop start stop start stop start because you're making a big this is a life-changing decision i think you're making there's something huge going on here for you so once you make that decision now we go to this all right i got the world in my hand i'm looking to my future with new hope new excitement this this energy here because it looks like an 11 to me may also go back to what of course you were thinking about at the new moon in aries on the 11th and at this full moon in scorpio time the last week you're like all right now what do i do how do i proceed i made the decision i'm on board i'm aligned what happens next but remember the two of wands is about being on the threshold of something brand new you're going to be getting off this veranda pretty pretty quickly and moving forward in a new direction but it is good to just i think be in that state of hopeful expectancy with looking toward your future and seeing you know what you want to do I mean you know what you want to do but i mean in terms of how you you would like you know how you envision that to play out for you because first you have to make the decision which you did all right and we have the chariot so you are going to be moving forward but moving forward to exactly where and how is the two of wands planning mm, six of pentacles and the wheel of fortune baby so there is again interesting about balance that also came out earlier in the reading six of pentacles is about the ebb and flow of the energy of making sure you take care of your own needs because this new situation you're embarking upon is really about bringing more balance into your life in some way shape or form whether you need more love in your life need more money in your life need more friendship in your life you know something has been a little out of whack in your life so this big decision i think really does involve getting something back in balance for you and look at the wheel is here to help you this is gorgeous another number one the wheel so the universe will i think play the biggest role in the timing of this for you okay when you're actually going to be on that chariot going forward now it could tie in with july and the reason I'm saying that is because we had the chariot before. We had the two. We had the king and the queen of cups. So we have some upcoming water sign energy. Um, so, you know, there could be something going on with that. But you don't have to be, like, super controlling and overthinking the timing of it, Aries. You just have to be doing your vision board, doing your imagination, doing your manifestation practices now that you know what you want be hopefully expectant in moving forward and let the universe handle the details handle the timing start getting your ducks in a row getting everything going getting everything ready and when it's time to really move forward the universe will open that doorway for you to step through that's what that is there so really really nice energy aries really really nice all right I'm going to take this reading onto the other side. I have a brand new Oracle deck and it is pretty cool. So I'm going to be pulling on the other side. I'm going to be pulling um, three cards that, uh, you know, of situations. These are very interesting. They have different uh, situations on them. So we will be seeing what other areas of life will be influencing you for the month ahead. And we will, of course, dive in deeper to clarify them. So Aries please consider joining me on the other side. I would love to see you over there. Take care. Have a great month. I love you guys so much and, and join me for your birthday reading, okay? Stella Wilde signing out.